we do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Hail, fellow travelers! Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. This axe just keeps getting stronger. Whatever you need, I'll create. Let's see, my boy. Have we more to talk about? What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. <gasps> Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. <laughs> Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. Huh. 
Any particular direction to find your wounded oh. animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? <laughs> Tempting treasure chest! Damn the sands! I think we're getting through that gate in the storm. Is. I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? This cave's in.
What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it.
You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem.
Look, there's a cave entrance. This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. <sighs> Great. to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alpine, can you really blame them?
Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. you heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
never been this interested before. I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. <laughs> No, I don't want to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch of Dark Elves to get there... I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're Elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistake. Getting involved where we shouldn't. Through here, I think.
There, that bomb should help us out. It's just, why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lunch. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Diener, so... Oh, boy. Well, I appreciate the attempt to humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners.
can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Hathkifers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? <sighs> no. Then let us free it. Why did they trap it down here? Hafkafas are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. We can cut the half goofa loose here. <laughs> it flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our Dark Elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I.
Ymir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Frimther. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. I can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realm in his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skadi, queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starcather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Enough. We will continue later. Oh! Remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. Back to Thor and Odin's story? Where were we? Who else? Ah, room near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach? Prepare for a fight.
blast page on fire. They will blast. The other drogger hole, didn't we? Oh. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Do they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one ah! carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. I think that means... Another half, Gufa. The chisel will not open this. Did the light elves put this lock here? Why would they care what happens in the barrens? A fair question. But until we find the right key, that poor half, Gufa, will have to continue its solo act.
There's something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. When the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Rold, we will finish later. Sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then.
Mir, what's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Lucky us. Between me and Tyr, who'd ever guess I was the giant, huh? <laughs> Indeed, lad. We were discussing how manipulating the details of a prophecy can wreak havoc on the believers. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. Let this wait. Stay alert. Call, I was about to relate the story of the Heath Witches, who overthrew a government using only deceptive prophecies. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit ah! this usurper. Set that aside for now. Come. If I may resume my tale. The Heath Witches were looking to tie up loose ends, and so revisited the Thane they manipulated into assassinating his king. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical, Physical or, or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. 
You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. I knew we'd left something behind. What can I make for you? A good fit. Wear it with pride. And Atreus? Fashionable. What do you need? This must be from Alfheim. Explains the, uh, ugh, sand. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. I hope Tears had enough time to uh, find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Yet I can't be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Yodinhaz? The giants saw Tears leading armies at Ragnarok. 
and I believe them. The question is, are you'll ever make Pierre believe it? Oh!